Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can easily remove the flywheel off of a lawnmower. In this case it's a Briggs & Stratton 6 horsepower engine. If you don't have an impact wrench handy, then this is pretty much the only way you're going to be able to do this. Okay, so this is how I've always done it. And this is how you're going to do it if you don't have an impact wrench. Clear everything out of the way. You don't want to crush any pipes. You don't want to screw anything else up. And you want to go with the really thick part. Now this is about an inch thick right here. And it's pretty thick for about that wide. So you want to get your vice grip and you want to clamp it against the bottom of one of the veins. Push it against it. And then you want to get the jaw of this one of the vice grip and put it on the bottom. And you want to get it really, really tight and clamp it. You're not going to hurt it. Once you get it clamped like that, you're going to rotate the flywheel until the vice grip gets pushed right against the block so that, so that the flywheel can no longer rotate. Now you can get your socket wrench or a box end wrench like I'm going to use and put it in position. I will now loosen the nut. The flywheel should hold in position. And here we go. There we go. And that's it. Doesn't get easier than that. Once that's off, you can release the vice grip, take it out of there. You didn't do any damage to anything, everything's perfect. Now, if you put that vice grip in the wrong spot, you put it in the thin spot, you will crack the flywheel because it's pretty thin on this edge. It's only about 3 16ths of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. So make sure the vice grip is in that position. And it's also a good idea to use the curved jaw like this. It's, it gets into the spot easier, and the straight jaw seems to give me a little bit of trouble every time I use it. So use a curved jaw vice grip. Okay. Okay, so once you remove the flywheel nut, now ordinarily, if you have a puller like I do, you would use a puller. But the purpose of this video is to show you how you can do these things without having specialized tools. Now to remove this, you're going to be tapping, all right? You could do very light taps on the top of this, very, very light. Just like the impact wrench would be pounding away on it, you want to do light taps because you do not want to damage any of these threads, you will never get the flywheel nut back on. So it's okay to do a couple of light taps like that are just fine. And in between doing these light taps, you're going to be concentrating on the thick part of the underside of the flywheel. You're going to be hitting it a little harder from the underside on the thickened area of the flywheel, on this side, and on the exact opposite side of the flywheel. And eventually, between tapping here and tapping there and tapping on the other side of the bottom of the flywheel, this will pop off. I'll show you right now. Now, if only part of your flywheel is accessible, such as on this Briggs & Stratton engine, what you're going to do, because you can't tap anywhere else, it's all covered, you're just going to tap here, rotate the flywheel all the way around 180 degrees to that position, and now you can tap the opposite side and just keep rotating it and tapping it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to tap here first, spin it around, tap that side, and in between I'll be tapping lightly in the middle. So tap this first. That's it. Turn it around. Again. Only on the thick spots. Keep doing it and it will loosen. There you go. 